Hi there. Computer video for a change, or computer related video. Uh, this video, I'm just going to go through the contents of this box and that black bag. I've only had a quick glance when I went to have a look at all the computer stuff, so I'm not actually sure exactly what is in these, uh, but we'll find out. I have got all the other computers here, but that will be for another video. But actually, in fact, if we go through to the bedroom, that is just just under half of the computers that I've got. The rest are still downstairs in the shed. And there's 11 up here. Not sure what I'm going to do with them. Some of them have got uh, front panels missing, as you can see. There's a couple of loose panels down in the shed, but I don't know what they go to. Go to. There's a bit of a funny, funny accent, wasn't it? Go to. Anyway, some of them have got covers missing as well, like this IBM. So uh, I'm not sure what I'll do with the IBM yet. But uh, yeah, that's going to be for the, another video. What else did I get? There's about five printers as well. Now I'm going to shove my chair out of the way. I think it'll be easier if I park my ass on the floor. Okay, so let's get that flat man out of the way. What have we got? Compact laptop. But the battery that won't stay locked in. And it's got bottom cover missing. It's uh, <laughs> it's uh, rather dirty. And actually, I've got a better idea instead of doing this on the floor. So, uh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back in the kitchen this time. I've got that set up ready. Pardon me. So, yeah, where were we? This old laptop. No idea if it works. Screen's a bit loose. I actually watched a video recently on YouTube uh, from B. Bishop's PCM World or something like that. I think I might have got his name wrong, his YouTube name wrong. Who uh, was talking about a laptop just like this. And coincidentally enough, I've gone and got one. Whether this works or not, I don't know. I'll have to find a power supply. And oh, I see. There are mouse buttons. What a weird design. Right, so put that aside. Don't know why, but the battery pack won't fit in. There's a laptop docking station. I will warn you, this will probably be quite a uh, long video. So, here's a laptop docking station. I'm not sure if this goes to any particular brand of laptop or. I know there's a couple of these kicking about in this job lot. Uh, it's for a compact expansion thingy, docking station, doodah. Here we got USB, VGA port on the back, printer port, parallel port, all your usual bits and pieces. It's got a built in um, DVD drive as well. That's an interesting little thing. I've got some compact armadas, maybe they'll go on that. What's this? Well, that can go straight in the recycle bin, because it's an Ethernet cable with an end cut off. It's got the end on the other end, so that's crap. What's this? Standard CD ROM drive. Yeah, it's worth bugger all. Hmm. Faulty. What have we got in here then? Power adapter. Okay. If that's faulty, that'll probably end up in the recycle bin. Okay. I've got laptop batteries. Or a battery, I should say. I don't know if there's any more in there. I think there's a couple more in there. Does it say what this goes to? No. That's not really helpful. 
lithium-ion battery. Well, yeah, that's very nice. I want to know what it goes to. Oh, 14.8 volt. Something small in What else? What we got in the carrier bag? Oh, hello. We've got a video card. Is there a brand on it? Mm, not that I can see. It might be an inv oh, it's an Zeus. Duh, it's right at the top there. Ah, oh, I do wish this camera would focus. Look, very blurry. Not much help either. Well, I can assure you that says Asus. Zeus. I'm not sure how you actually pronounce the name. Asus, I think. So I've got some Asus machines through there. Uh, memory stick. DDR, no SD actually. It's got two notches. Definitely don't see much of that these days. I've actually got pot fault in my cupboard. Now here's another two. What have we got over there? SDs as well. Three sticks of that. I'm not sure if I've got a machine that even takes them. Yeah. Some knackered hard drives. Mm, covers have been removed, so. Maybe I could power these up and have a bit of fun with the platters. Yeah, they're old IDEs. Oh no, that one's an old SAR. I bet these are probably dead anyway, that's why they're in bits. There's another one. There's a couple of laptop ones and a couple of uh, desktops. Well, this is another memory stick. Oof, got some water in the bottom of this bag. And a motherboard. Now I know kicking around. I'm just going to put it down for a minute. I know kicking around in this lot there's a few motherboards. So just so what we got? That's definitely a P4 socket. Nice DDR RAM slots from the look of it. I can double check. I'm not a computer expert by a long shot, but uh, I do know how to put one together. There we go. Told you. Mind you, it's a bit obvious that would be uh, DDR RAM as it's a P4 slot. Pentium P4 slot. Well, I've never seen one lengthways like that. I wonder if that come out of a flat tower. Come out of an Asus. Or at least it's an Asus board. PCB made in China. Bit of dust on there. I can't quite see what brand of capacitors has got on it. Four USB ports. And judging by that layout on the back here, it's most likely in made for XP. So, uh... Nice pool, a USB PC camera user manual. I bet the disc isn't in it then. Ooh, it is. I bet I haven't got the camera in the box though. <laughs> uh, some power supplies. Well, it's got test stuck on it. Does that mean that's supposed to be or was supposed to have been tested or? Ooh. What have we got in here? Another one. Needs testing. Right, we'll soon test these. <laughs> that can go on my... Hello. Who's that camera? <laughs> How weird. Oh, it's got a USB port on it as well. And a little belt clip. <laughs> Interesting little device. What's this all wrapped up here? What's that? Needs testing. Where is it? Ethernet card. I'll probably bin that because I've got several. Okay, hello. I've got another disc, another... Ah! And how about that? I've got the disc to that camera as well. Sweet! Well, I've got a web camera base. Ooh, hang on a minute. 
I'll just do what I think that does. <laughs> that does as well. <laughs> That is just awesome. I like that. Stupid little things make me happy like that. I think in this bag it's just... Power supplies. Suspect. I ain't got no name on it. It don't look too good on that side there. Look. Yeah, I think that's mostly just power supplies in that bag. Let's check. Check that up there, check that up there. A telephone base. Wireless mouse. Another wireless mouse. Another bloody wireless mouse. <laughs> What's this? I don't know what that is. We've got some more uh, power supplies. Got quite a few of those. Ooh, got another one in a box, but well, there's nothing written on this box, so... It smells new. Put that aside. Check this lot of crap back in here. Well, I haven't found a camera for that yet. And what we got here? Still sealed in a box as well, if it's actually in there. Suspect to be tested. Oh yeah, I didn't find that one, did I? Oh yeah. That one says weird on it. As I mentioned in the other video. <laughs> hmm. There's nothing indicating that they've been to... Oh, is it? Just plug and extend N300 Universal Wi-Fi Extender. Ooh. Go in there. Right. No. I try and make a bit of room. Stuff that up there. Shall we go and get the bin bag? Bleh, bin bag. processor came in the kitchen as well. Whoa. Some weight in that bag. What have we got? A BT Vision Remote. Well, I don't have BT... Oops. BT Vision, so that's no good to me. Ugh. Batteries are leaked. I would sort of perhaps do a teardown on that, but uh, it's not worth it. Sod all inside one of them anyway. I don't know what might be a good idea. I want my tripod anyway, so I'm going to get my little tripod, shall I? I'm not tripping over Nemo. Go on. Mind your bottom, Nemo. Right there. If I stick you on a tripod, I can at least uh, set you down somewhere. Not give you my hands free. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, hmm. I'll put it on top of the fridge. What's your view like from up there? You definitely can't see nothing with it up there, can you? So if I do that, I can bring things up to the camera as they come out. Right. however you want to say it. So, put that over there. There's one of the front panels I was talking about. 
medium. Who makes medium? I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I can't remember who did medium off the top of my head. No doubt it goes to one of those. Oh, some speakers. Oh, power speakers as well. So is that what that is? That's oh, helpful because it doesn't actually tell you what the voltage is. So I assume a power adapter plugs in the back there. No, that doesn't give you the voltage, probably not a lot. If I set a universal adapter to something like 4 volts, it'll probably work at fine. There's another Toshiba docking station. Or expansion pack. I always call them a docking station, but I've seen them called like an expansion pack. I've got a Toshiba laptop. So, that's quite a posh one. Mm -hmm. Four USB ports on it. Mm -hmm. That looks to be a good neat anyway, so. I can't remember if I picked up just the two bottom stations or not. This is. I have something in here, looks like. Ooh. GPS antenna. And there's a little micro SD card in there as well. Should we have a look? Let's see what the micro SD card is. I've got no idea what this is. I don't know if you'd stick it in your car or what you'd do with it. Six gigabyte micro SD card. That's a bonus. There's the wireless antenna, GPS antenna. Perhaps that goes in, plugs into a sat nav. I don't know. I don't drive, so I don't use a sat nav. Yep, we've got a laptop motherboard. Your guess would be as good as mine as to what that came out of, because I haven't got a bloody clue. You know, some of these, are, I could probably sell some of these boards as a scrap on eBay. What's this one? It's another laptop board, I think. Is it? Yes, because it's got that slot on it. That might look like that might be an IBM motherboard. Can't see no, uh, no processor, not can't see no, uh, no brand name on it to give a hint. Had built in wireless, because still got the wireless card sitting in it. Two USBs, micro USB, your usual ports on it. Something old because it's got an IDE hard drive connector. So. Does it work? Not a clue. Ah, motherboard. It's an MSI motherboard, complete with heatsink. I'm guessing as it's got a heatsink, it's most likely got a uh, processor still on it. And looking at that slot, that looks like a dual core processor. Five SATA ports. So I bet this is most likely the uh, two. Yep, DDR doesn't fit. So that'll be for the test later. That'll be awesome if that works. That's a spare motherboard for one of my computers. Right, I've got another motherboard in here. This big old thing. With a processor in it. No heat sink, but it's got a processor in it. At Langon. Two ports, um, RAM slots, DIMM slots, I'll get there eventually. Come from a Dell. Yep, that's take DDR2 as well. 
Blimey, six USB ports on that one. That'll be another one to uh, try to test if I can find a heat sink for it. And, uh, another mini mouse. And uh, something in a poly bag in here. I'm just about to blow it. Seems to be stuck. Hang on. No, it's just some laptop keyboards and a screen. A couple of screens. Anyway, uh, I've just got to really turn the camera off for a minute and I'll be back. Well, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to uh, answer a call of nature. Where were we? What have we got? I'm not actually sure what this is. Shall we uh, open up and have a look? It's a screen of some sort. Possibly a tablet screen. I'm not sure it's actually any good looking at that. No, that's a smashed screen. What a shame. We've got another one. Probably another laptop screen. Uh, not a laptop, a um, tablet screen from the look of it. I don't think that one's any good either. We've got a laptop screen. Some water on it. And that looks fine to me. So that's going to be the keeper. Uh, another what looks like tablet screen. I'll keep that back. Hmm. That one actually looks fine as well. Probably isn't that like a comp on the corner of the monitor. Um, so let me put these up somewhere safe. I will double check the other two. It's hard to see. Good as well. Keyboard. With a repair stick um, label stuck on it. That's quite a large keyboard. That must come up quite a large laptop. Repair. AS dot dot one three seven. Something else to keep hold on. Like there's something else for tablets here as well. It's one of the few sort of techno technological pieces of equipment. Yeah, it is just a sheer glass and it's in good nick, so I'll keep that and keep all them. Let them dry out because they're sort of stuck in the packet. Uh, Packets might be useful to keep. And I see it's a little mini laptop mouse with a one of them annoying retractable cords. But I suppose it's not so annoying if you've got a small laptop case. As I personally prefer using a handheld mouse like this rather than the bloody touchpads. Touchpads and all the hell out of me. So, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, that would be useful. Just before I end it, that's a um, charger that you plug into your cigarette lighter with a USB on it. So, you can charge your phone from a USB cable. So, that would probably be pretty handy to keep hold of. Anyway. That is now definitely it for the video. So 
So uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button. Much appreciated. There goes a button. Uh, if you didn't like it, hit the Butter fingers, aren't I? If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Any comments, questions, insults, whatever in the comment section below. And uh, I'll talk to you again later. Thanks for watching. Hello. I've uh, got my first test subject out. Because in this video, I'm going to be testing a few computers. I'm not sure how many I'll uh, get through yet. I obviously didn't take any care putting the cover back on. I need to take the cover off because I need to know if there's any memory in it. There's no point to turn it on. If there's no memory in it, I better make sure all the necessary connections are in place. So, I'm going to remove the cover. And, uh, well, there's no memory, there is a processor. That actually looks like that is either an AMD socket or an early Pentium socket. I don't know if anyone's watching, well, hopefully if it turns on, we'll be able to find out what it's running. If it works. Because now I've got all the keyboard and everything set up. So, I'll plug in the keyboard. Plug in the mouse. This is one of the reasons I keep a PS2 mouse dotted around and the damn thing plugs in. Go on, it's in there. And of course, we need electric. So we'll plug in the electric. Ooh, well, that flashed. What slots are they? Oh my god, they are. Whoops, SD slots. Ones. And I only want to see if it turns on. I don't even know if this memory works, so if it beeps at us, we'll know the memory doesn't work. The green LED light flashed on the back. Oh, you know what else would be useful, don't you? Plugging in the monitor. Let's connect the monitor. I only want enough memory in there just to see if it's going to turn on and boot the BIOS. So, let me pick you up. Where's our power button? There it is. Well, I know the green LED flashed. <laughs> Is there anything unplugged that I haven't seen? No, that's all plugged in. Mm -hmm. The LED flash again. Oh, yeah. Okay, so me thinks I know what the problem is with this one. I think it's got a power supply problem. Because I'm betting that LED is supposed to stay on and it's not, so I'm going to guess a dead power supply. So, uh, well, that's quite short, sharp, and swift for this one, wasn't it? I'm going to pop that memory out. I'll, uh, Rig up a power supply to that later. In the meantime, I'm going to come back on. No point to screw that on, is there? Because I've got to uh, take it apart. Alright, I'm just going to switch you off while I go and get another test subject. So, uh, Okay, got the next test subject. It's an Asus Barebone. I do have an identical two of these, but the uh, badge is different. Case looks exactly the same, apart from the badge. One, this one has Asus Barebone on it, the other one doesn't. So, I've got one screw to take out of the back. I've already gone ahead and plugged in the necessary cables. Undo the screw. Ooh, 
Well, that's not normal. There's a load of crap that's spilled out of that screw. That makes you wonder what you're going to find inside it. That's assuming you can get the cover off. Okay. Ooh. Some Azrock motherboard. All the cables appear to be plugged in. Obviously no hard drive. I'm not sure this one's going to power up because this one didn't uh, smell very nice. Let's hit the power switch on the back. And... Yeah. Oh, there we go. I might have some something there temper temperamental. That may have a. You know what I didn't do, don't you? I didn't put any memory in, so of course it's not going to boot up to the screen. Should we try putting some RAM in? I know this DDR RAM works. Because I kept it for spares for mine. So, let's try again. I know that's a good failure because there's no hard drive in it. Go get the next test subject, so I'll take you with me, but I need two hands to carry the uh, cases. Now, I'll put the side cover on. I'm not going to bother putting the screws in. I do want my memory back, though. Ram. Look at that big old cup. So this may uh, be quite a long video while I do these. Uh, what is it? It's an advent. Uh, Windows XP. Intel Pentium 4 processor. 512 megabytes DDR. 32 times CDRW and 16 times DVD. 4 gigabyte hard drive. GeForce 4 MX420 with 64 megabyte DDR and TV out. Mm. Right. Moving that side. I wouldn't mind betting most of the computers I got do work. But because they're pretty much obsolete now, no one wants it, please, because it's not so good, they probably got traded in. Because all these were a, a clear out from a, um, I mean, said a bicycle shop. I'm not doing bicycles, I'm doing computers today. From a um, computer shop. There's our little look inside. Put our memory in. And cheers, Nemo. He's been to the toilet, so I've got to put up all that smell. You look at his smell of vision. Should get on like that. It's rather dusty in this one. Are uh, all our cables in place? Yes, it all looks to be fine. So, ah, 
that might cause a problem. There's no built-in graphics. Someone's stolen the video card out of this. But it just so happens I know where there is one. I know where there's several actually. So, I will, uh, I will be back in a moment. Well, I thought that would be a good opportunity to test this uh, Asus video card that came in the box of bits in the last video. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this in. I have got another video card here, just in case. Little bit of force. Plug in the monitor. Might work out which way the plug's got to go. And uh, yeah, just got this old Nvidia. There, just in case it doesn't work. Mm. I didn't like the sound of that. <laughs> Whee! That one powers up. As we've got signal to monitor, that proves that video card works. Sweet! Though that processor fan really does not sound healthy. Video card out of it, or that was what was, what had uh, files in it originally. I'll turn that off. Let's see if I can get the video card out. Shall we? Here we go. Take all these out. Right. And all those out. And, uh, That one, that's a working one. Right, put the case back on. Clunk, clunk, clunk. And uh, I'll go and get Next subject. I have no idea what the brand is for this one. But what's the bet? I'm going to have to go and mix some memory out of one of my other Windows 7 PCs, because uh, I've got a feeling them slots are uh, DDR2. There's no brand name on this whatsoever. Can't see a... Can't even see a name on the motherboard. I might have to uh, Google that model number down there. But, uh, yeah, this one pro will probably be broken for uh, parts. Oh, hello, what have we got? We've got a sticker in the bottom here. I know you probably can't read most of it, but uh, it says date 19th of the 5th 08, GR weight 7.3 kilograms, checked by Aaron, built by James. So I wouldn't mind betting this was a um, build, a specific build for a customer maybe, back then. So I'm just going to turn you, yeah, turn you off for a moment and uh, go grab the memory stick, so, uh, or the RAM stick, whatever you want to call it. So uh, I'll be back in a minute. Well, Back again. The stick borrowed from another computer. I hope this is DDR2. <laughs> I'm going to be stuffed if it isn't. I don't have any DDR3 sticks. No, nope, it's DDR2. Right, so we we'll plug that in. Where's that? Oh, there it is. I'm just looking for the power. Got go. 
Okay. And this has got to go up the top here. And there's no CD drives or anything. So it's actually got built in the uh, DVI. So, moment of truth. And we are dead. <laughs> no, did I actually. No, that's because it's off at the back. Here's another switch. So that's another one to check. That could be either a dead motherboard or a dead... <laughs> dead something. <laughs> could be a dead power supply. Nope. So, this is another fail. So I'm going to take that out and we'll put this to one side because... I may need it. So, uh, on with the Right. Right, right. We have another one. It's an HP. HP what is... God knows. <laughs> Not a clue. We've got quite a few ports on the front. Uh, card reader. We've got AV ports on this one. Mm. We've got a good old thumb screw on the back here. Yeah, power LED is on on the oh, power supply, which is good. There is no video card in this one, though, and no built-in video. What we've got in the bottom here. Whoops! Sorry for that clunk. Let's unplug this because we don't need that. That looks like a TV card of some sort. Yep. So, TV card, dial-up modem, the bloody hell uses them these days. Uh, and it looks like I need to go and get a PCIe video card. Uh, yep, I'll leave you on this time, you can study that. And I'm back with one. It's a good, good idea to stick the memory in it first, just in case. I think. Let's see what I'm bloody doing. I think most of these computers I may end up breaking just for spare parts. So. This one would build, I think, into a half decent machine anyway. Put that in. Put the VJ cable in, because that's all I've got. There's a power switch on the back on this one. No. Where's the power switch on the front? That is actually a very good question. Uh, um, that may be a bit of an issue because we haven't got a power button. <laughs> uh, hmm. Um, we've got cables. Harder source. I'm gonna to have to go and get a switch. <sighs> Be back. Be right back. Okay. Got myself a switch. I've uh, got myself a light as well, so I can see what I'm doing. Let's see. And I've got to put the switch. So let me look. Hmm. 
memory serves correct, it's either these two or the other two. Fire up! Whee! First time! Hmm. That's another one that I may have to look into. We don't have anything coming up on screen. Could be my video card may have died. Come on, go off. Thank you. That's uh ouch. Something just fell off. Where's the can't see how it lock in. Oh yeah I can. Whoever designed the motherboard to put a capacitor right in the bloody way. There we go. I don't think I've got any other spare PCI E video cards. Uh, so I think this one will go in the uh, look at later pile. I'm actually surprised. I've got some computers here that take DDR2. I thought they were all going to be uh, old Windows XP machines. But take that switch and keep that just in case. Right, onwards with the next. Okay, last one for now. I don't want the video to go on for too long. Pardon me, I've got weed and burping a lot. Right, see, this is the other Zeus. Well, it says powered by ASUS in there, so it's got an LG CD drive. We have one screw in the back. I've got four computers now in the uh, to look at later pile. The ones that aren't working. One I didn't put on camera because it hasn't got a uh, power supply in it, so I thought I'd save that for later. Oh, it's quite nice in this one as well. We got, oh good, we've got built in graphics on this one. SATA and a SATA uh, LG drive. Or serial ATA, as some people may call it. Tell me off if you want. If I'm not pronouncing it correctly, whinge at me if you want. Let's uh, hold these cables out of the way. You see, I'm using my head here because I bet this is uh, another DDR2 slot. So. Last I'm good. Oh, I've got to remember there is an on-off switch on this power supply which is currently off. So, which is a good thing because you don't want the power on while you're plugging everything in. Just in case something does go boom while you're touching it. We had no magic smoke yet, have we? Right, on with the power supply. Still no magic smoke, that's good. That turns on. That fan doesn't sound healthy either. Ooh. It beeped. And there's no output. Mm. What does a single beep mean? Maybe the single beep is a faulty processor. Could be 
in my shuttle. Well, we've got another one that turns on but doesn't do much else. So that's another one for the have a look at a later pile. I do believe I've got another one of these down in the shed. I would like to bring them all up today, but it is quite um, a chore to drag them all up two flights of stairs all the way from the shed. I'm sort of using my little bicycle trailer as a barrow. I can only fit three in there at a time, so I've got to put three in there. Bring them up to this end of the block. Drag them up one at a time, because I'm not I'm too weak to carry two, it's knackering me out too much. And I've got to watch my sugar levels anyway, I don't want them to drop too far. I'm doing one at a time. And uh, I think I've got over, I don't know, there's about another, at least another ten down there to bring up. That's not counting the printers, which I don't know if I'll bring up. But uh, before I end the video, as you can see, a lot of the computers I need to work on later are uh, down here. But uh, if I haven't got the front panels for those two, then I'm just going to take the guts out of them anyway. Because there's no point in uh, keeping them. Not with the front covers, and there's dents and marks all in the cases, so. But this one is actually a good, clean little case. Uh, I'll we'll probably sell for some spares for uh, spares or repairs on eBay. I'll probably sell a job lot actually of what I don't want. So I'm going to end this video here. And then I'll probably get on with another one. I don't want to make the videos far too long. So I'll end the video here. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Any comments, questions, or insults, or piss taking, or whatever you want to do in the comments section below. And uh, thanks for watching.